Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I've come to bury Caesar not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, the good is often interred with their bones, so be it with Caesar. The noble Brutus had told you that Caesar was ambitious, and if it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously had Caesar answered it. Here, under the leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honourable man, and so are they, all honourable men, come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honourable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransom did General Copper fill? Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is an honourable man. When that the poor had cried, Caesar had wept. Ambitions must be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is of course an honourable man. You all did see that on the lupicle I thrice presented him with the kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. So was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is of course an honourable man. I come here not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without a cause, so what cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to the Brutus beast, and men had lost their reasons. My heart is there in the coffin with Caesar, and I must cost him comes back to me.